Hello everyone, um, today we're going to be going over a simple Xcode tutorial to help familiarize you with the Objective-C programming language and the Cocoa frameworks developed by Apple alongside using Xcode Interface Builder to create Mac OS X applications. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to the dock or your applications list, open up Xcode. Once open, go to File New Project. Now, under the we have a window here with all the applications we can create. Under the uh, application drop-down, you're going to go to Cocoa Application because that's what we'll be working with. Click on Next. We're going to title it Beep Application. Finish to create the project. And here we've created a an Xcode project. So here, this is just a, a list of the res resources Xcode will use when. Uh, building the project, we have here the AppKit framework, and the AppKit framework uh, includes definitions for the UI element classes for Mac OS X uh, UI elements. So, for example, we have NS Window, which is all windows, and uh, for another a drop down, anything like that, and basically anything you look at. And then we have the foundation framework, which is really anything that's not UI, with like strings, arrays, things like that. So, we're going to double click on main menu.nib. And a nib file is a file that helps developers create uh, interfaces without having to code out the entire interface. I mean, it, it can be done. Be coding out the entire interface is something that can be done. And in certain instances, it's uh, wiser to code your interface out. But for mo most situations, it's easier to use Interface Builder or nib files. Um, and nib files, when Xcode will read the file and create the code needed so that saves you a lot of time. So, what you're going to do, uh, the first thing you do is under the main menu dot, uh, nib, um, window, excuse me, you're going to click on the classes tab. Um, and we have here a list of all the Cocoa, uh, uh, for classes, the AppKit classes, the UI elements. We have here on the first one here. We have a browser. The first class is NS Object, and NS Object is the root class for all Coco classes. Uh, all classes you'll be dealing with when working with Coco will be subclasses of NS Object. And what that means is any methods or variables defined in the NS Object class will be included with all subclasses, and that saves developers a lot of time. For example, methods like alloc, which allocates memory, and init, which initializes. The class. So you're going to click on NS object, you're going to hit your return key, and you're going to just type in app controller and hit enter. And now what we've done is we, for interface builder, we have created, we have subclass NS object. We've made our own class. So now interface builder knows about this class and it will not be confused when you send methods to, to, to it. So now what we're going to do is in the inspector window, if you don't already have that open, you can go to tools, show inspector. And we have here two tabs under the attributes uh, menu. You have outlets, which are variables and actions. We're just going to be working with the actions tab. So you're going to click on add. And you're going to type in send beep. What we've done here is we've created a method uh, con as far as interface builder is concerned. An action or a method that we can call which is now a part of the app controller class. So we can tell app controller to execute the code implemented in this method by simply connecting a UI element to this method. So uh, we're going to go back to, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to click back to the classes tab. You're going to right click on app controller and you're going to go to, sorry, instantiate app controller. And now what we've done is we've created a live running instance of, the app, of our app controller class. So now we can send messages to it, things like that. So now what you're going to do, you're going to go to the, co the uh, UI element uh, pa uh, panel, and you're going to click on the Cocoa Contro Controls and Indicators palette, which uh, uh, button basically buttons, sliders, thing, you know, radio switches. Um, now we're going to just we're going to be working with the button, and we're just going to drag an in the NS button from this panel to our window make it however big you really want you can title it whatever you want, I'm going to title it Make Beep Noise because that's what we'll be doing I'm going to resize the window accordingly center it, okay so now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to dr uh, I'm sorry, let me go back to this just I'm um, sorry. Back to this just to make things clear. I'm gonna hold down my control key, then click and drag from the the button we've created down to the app controller instance. Sorry, the Xcode window's in the way, don't worry about that. So now what we've done is we've connected this button to the app controller um, instance, and now we're, what we're going to do is, now it's giving us an option of how we can connect it. We're going to click on send beep, and that's the method that we made for the app controller class, connect. And now what will happen is whenever this button is clicked, the code implemented under this method, part of the app controller class, will be executed. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to define the code for this method. So we're going to right click on, um, go back, I'm sorry, go back to the main menu.nib or nib window, click the classes tab, back to the scroll up to the left and up to the app controller class, the class we created, click create files for app controller, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the file, the definition for this class to our Xcode project. I'm going to click choose, and now as you can see here we've added appcontroller.h, appcontroller.m. So now uh, you're going to just drag this up so we can edit the files in this window. Scroll back up. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Um, and you're going to click on the average.h file. Just so I'm going to explain here what this all is. First, we have the import Coco frameworks. This is going to import all the Coco frameworks that we can use them in our project. And now here, what we have is we're going to out basically h files as far as Objective C classes go. Outline the class. So we have interface, which is a keyword that uh, now we're telling. Xcode or the compiler that we're about to create a class. Now this is the name of the class comes first and then if you're going to subclass, you don't have to, but we're going to to save us a lot of time make things easier, colon and then the name of the class where that's uh, the superclass that we're going to make it a subclass of. Now in these brackets would go variables specific to instances of the app control class, for example in X that would be a variable that we could store data in and use whenever running or making an instance of the app controller class, but we're not going to work with that. To save time, I'm going to run through a little quicker here. Um, now we have the method that we created in, in uh, Interface Builder, IB action. This is the first set of parentheses is the return type for the method. Uh, IB action essentially means void, and void means don't return anything, so no return value will be implemented. Then we have the name of the method, and then a parameter Oops, sorry there, a parameter, which is the sender, the object that's calling the method. Now we're going to go to the app controller, the M file. And the M files are used for um, basically defining the code for each method of the class we've created. So we have here the action, and we're going to define the code for this the method action. So you're just going to type N, uh, hit your return key, NS beep. There we've created. Now we've basically made the code, and what will happen is whenever this method is called, this will be executed. So an NS beep is a uh, a function that is included with the Cocoa frameworks that simply makes a beep noise. So now we are finished, and we're going to build the project. And if oh, I'm sorry, if in case you don't have it set, you just go to File, Save in um, the Interface Builder. I have it so that it automatically saves on building. If you don't, you can do that. Now we're going to build, compiling. And here we have uh, I went, uh, the application we made. Tie it up here. And uh, so now, make beep noise. And there we have it. When clicking this, the beep noise is made. Hope you enjoyed. That's the end of this tutorial.